What's up, people? How you guys doing this morning? Unless it's the afternoon, and I hope your afternoon's going well. Today is a really fun day. Very excited about this. Headed up to the Murphy Museum because it is the all Ford show. But while we're there, I'm bringing the 97 Tahoe that I'm driving right now, and we have an install happening. Actually, we have two. But the primary install for this episode is gonna be done by the Rap Institute. If you're not familiar with those guys, check out in the link below. The experts when it comes to wrapping cars of any shape and size and any color. And today, it's the Tahoe. the Murphy here's the the hood of the Chevy right now uh, it's not gonna look like that for long but Justin is here from the Rap Institute he's gonna be working on the top of the car first it's not perfect but it doesn't have to be what's important is it's gonna transform from this to something else he's gonna do on the bumpers the hood the top of the car and there he is <laughs> Uh, so for this project, uh, Fireball asked us to come out, uh, redoing the truck, and what I loved about the concept was taking a kind of an older car and kind of making a new, uh, old school style, kind of not like fancy, fancy, like really, really expensive redo, but kind of a budget redo, which is you know close to my heart. I love those guys who kind of rebuild cars from low budget up, because again, that's everyone has to start somewhere, which is great. Um, so I just did SEMA, which is cool, and scheduled around SEMA, so I just flew from Vegas yesterday. I got flew the material in and ready to go. Okay, so the Rap Institute started about four years ago. Uh, my partner's from Dallas, Texas. I live in Amsterdam, but it's headquartered in Dallas. So what it is, is an online streaming video platform, and start off with 80 videos, and it's a pay-per-view uh, pay service. Basically, you get an annual fee, or you can watch it with single videos. But basically, the idea is to teach you how to rap. It's a neutral platform. It's not sponsored, so it's not uh, you know pushing an agenda down your throat. It's just simply the right technique for the right job. And so basically, what I've been able to do is I travel the world, pick up new tips and tricks, uh, techniques, and all that kind of good stuff. So what I do is I put out a new video every day, and uh, people from all across the world are watching it when they get to work, or they want to like beginners who are wanting to learn the basics, or advanced people who want to learn like new techniques of how to wrap a mirror in one piece or even walls, windows, and floors. So it's not just focus on cars, it's anything. So it's a great resource to learn how to wrap and also advance your skills so you make more money in time. What I love about it, it's you know, it's blue collar work. You know, you don't have to. It's not physics and stuff like that. But I love the idea of giving someone a system, and I think that's what uh, the Rap Institute does really well, and what I do really well. It's just explain very clearly how the process works. Because what I love about this, for certain aspects, it's a business in a box. You literally can buy the roll of film, cut it up for the size of a hood, and you can wrap your hood. Awesome, that's good stuff. And so for do-it-yourselfers, it's a great entry point uh, for people who are have a sign shop and they want to get into car wrapping and stuff like that it's the videos really I for me I you know I think the biggest thing that I got is you know someone who took my workshop and uh, to watch the videos uh, they said it was the first time they got home to have dinner with their family in three years because they were over wrapping they were there because wrapping is you know you're taking a sticker and putting it on a very complex curve it's not easy 
But for me, what I love, and that's the thing I love, it, is to see people have more time with their family, more time with their boyfriend and girlfriend, and actually make some money. And that's for me, I mean, that's how I fell into it. In New York City, I just all of a sudden was making very good money and had a very good lifestyle because I could just really understood rapping and I'm trying to convey that knowledge to the users and it's really, really satisfying. I can't, I can't tell you how satisfying it is. It's great. Uh, what we're doing here is, um, because this is an older car, the paint's not 100% on point, what I did is I used knifeless tape uh, the knife was safe. Basically, what it's used for is to I use it underneath the material because it was on the body cut, so that cut the material short. And then I'm coming back with this new product from Brazil called Molded Hold. All right. And what it does is it looks like textured molding on the car, so it literally matches. What's oh, that is here. cool. So because the surface energy is slow, low of the car, I can yeah. cut the material short, and this holds and keeps the roof from coming up. What we're doing right now is we are creating kind of it's what called it's what called it's called the Tron effect. So basically. I wrapped the base layer with gloss, and then the roof was satin, and you kind of want a satin gloss theme. So what I'm doing now is I'm coming back with, this is a product called Knifeless Tape, it's owned by 3M. And so the idea for this is, is I'm now going to create a negative space, so you're going to wrap it with the satin, and then release the Knifeless Tape, and then you're going to just see, you're just going to see uh, gloss, gloss, and then outside you're going to have gloss frame, that's the Tron effect, and then here, so you're going to create a really cool custom look. I'm wondering if the um, if it's part of the technique to have that that tool in your mouth all the time. So at this point we're about halfway through the wrap and it's been really interesting. It brought back a lot of memories of working on, like I used to work in New York City, a lot of hip hop stuff, cars were kind of beat up, um, of guys who were just trying to make it in the industry and your car has a lot of wear and tear, some new miles and stuff like that. Roof had a lot of rust spots, a lot of you know pock marks and material wasn't quite gliding in but how do you uh, get around that is you just really kind of relax the film in there and make sure it doesn't pop out and stuff like that. On the hood, taking advantage of the fact that we had two different types of film, we had gloss black and we had satin black. So we did kind of that Tron effect, and why one of the reasons why I did it, A, it looks cool, but B, or it is the because of the surface energy of the paint, because it was sanded down, it isn't as high as if it was like painted gloss. So if I cut it back from the edge and then put the pieces on top, it takes less stress, especially on the deep recessed areas on the middle of the hood. So using that Tron effect as a way to make it look cool, but also make it better for hold, and especially using that molded hold that I used on the edge of the roof and on the top of the trunk and hatchback and stuff like that. And now that I'm getting to the bumpers, which are kind of the funkier spots, definitely going to use that two-tone look of the gloss black and the satin to really not, not only make it customized, but especially for bumper, which is the giant compound curves, is to add extra holding power because there's lots of weak spots, so you always want to make the weak spots, str weak spots stronger by adding different two-tones and kind of taking the tension out of the edges. And that's the trick of wrapping, and once you get that trick, actually the clients will actually pay for that more, and it actually makes the wraps easier, which is, the, which is a good selling point for like a, 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 a Dracula cape going on there.
<laughs> like a Dracula cape. I mean, it was funny. It was just being in Halloween and, uh, in Las Vegas, you know, it was like costumes everywhere and stuff like that. And was there a lot of costumes at SEMA? It was. I mean, a lot of people wearing costumes, but in a way, I was thinking, you know, it wraps are costumes for cars. Yeah, exactly. So. Jason has been working on the truck for about three hours now. The whole back end is done. Look at that. That is sick looking right there. Look how clean that is. Very cool. This is satin and it wraps up and it's glossy on top. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap, <laughs> as they say. Yes, that's a wrap. And sure enough, that's a wrap. Big, big thanks to Justin from the Wrap Institute. An incredible job. Uh, a lot of work. It took about four hours or maybe even a little bit longer to do this. But it has changed the look of the truck dramatically. And it's completed an important step in the evolution of the Vlog Rocket. What will be the next step? You're going to find out.